different video. It's vegan cuts time. Hey, it's vegan cuts time. Hey, it's vegan cuts time. Okay, all right, it's vegan cuts time. <laughs> Today I'm here with a quarterly vegan cuts beauty box. So what you say, Chris? Quarterly, what's that? Okay, so <laughs> vegan cuts did something awesome recently. Not only do they offer their monthly boxes, but they're now offering seasonal boxes as well so you can get a box in the spring a box for the summer a box for the fall and a box for the winter so the box i'm checking out today is for fall so in case you've never heard of vegan cuts before they actually specialize in vegan and cruelty free products they also offer snacks which i'm going to be trying out their snack box next all of the beauty items in each vegan cuts box are paraben free once again cruelty free vegan and most of all safe to use so before we get started i just want to let you know about the pricing on the quarterly boxes uh, because it is different from their monthly boxes with the quarterly boxes you pay quarterly and it is 39.95 although this box is 39.95 quarterly each quarter you should expect to receive over $70 worth of beauty products and each box you should receive four or more full-size products so it should be worth it and I almost forgot to mention that with the quarterly boxes um, vegan cuts does like a really cool thing so each box is also tailored to you and your preferences on their website once you're registering and everything you'll take a little short quiz and they ask you a couple beauty questions so that they can then tailor the box to you so once again the quarterly boxes is something new to vegan cuts so they wanted to see if I'd be interested in checking out one of the boxes to test them out so we're gonna do this together so the box is pretty cute we have a leaf here which is a part of the vegan cuts logo let's check it out so I'm not sure if you can see from there but it says no bunny was harmed in the making of this box so that's good to know all right y'all so just seeing the card in the box it just gets me excited fall is like my favorite season I love the colors me and Ty got married on the first day of fall so it's like my favorite. The card says fall in love and on the back is all of the information on the items that you receive in your box. So it looks like in this particular box that I have, I have four items here and they are expensive. <laughs> they are, they are up there. So this should be good. So the items are so nicely packaged and I don't know where I want to start, but I'm going to go for the little one. Let's go for the little one. So up first, I have a product from All Natural. This is an organic cream eyeshadow, and it retails for $20. And once again, these are all full-size items. It says here, experience long-lasting color and rich textured eyeshadow that nourishes the skin with essential oils. Versatile cream shadow can be used as a standalone shadow, eyeliner, or brow filler. So this is like an all-around product. And y'all know I love that type of stuff. I use things that are not really meant for the way I use it, y'all know what I'm trying to say. I do that all the time. Whatever works, do it. As long as it's safe. <laughs> so the shade I received is Coffee. And again, I took the profile test. Um, so this should cater to my skin tone. All right, y'all, so check out this packaging. It's like glass with a metal top. So it's like really high end and stuff. Why didn't I have this? Why didn't I open this before I did my makeup today? <laughs> Alright, so this is a very, very pretty shade of bronze. And I actually was looking for a true bronze shade this morning. I didn't really want to do whatever color I ended up with today. But I had already swatched it and I had to just go along with it. That ever happened to you? My fingers are clean, so I'm going to just take a little bit out and check out the texture. So I'm going to move my Fitbit down a little bit and swatch here. Can y'all see that? I hope you can see it. It's another cloudy day. Y'all, I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm just gonna let this color speak for itself. Perfect. I have no complaints about this color. It definitely complements my skin tone and it is ridiculously smooth. There's no skipping in the swatch. I didn't use a lot. It wasn't chunky on my finger. It was just smooth. It looks exactly like, almost like a dry shadow, but not. <laughs> item number two is from Oprah Cosmetics and this is called the Blush Stripes. This retails for $35. Now once again, this box is $39.95 quarterly. So we've had a $20 item and a $35 item. It's already over the value. So that's awesome. The card says create a high cheekbone look with a natural pink glow every woman wants. You can also try this out as a four color eyeshadow palette too. All right, so I'm going to tip this down so you can see it a little bit better, and I should have a close-up, but the colors in here 
once again definitely do complement deeper skin tones so that is awesome so the packaging is a plastic case let's pop it open all of the colors are beautiful it reminds me of kind of like the holidays coming up so this should be really really pretty to wear especially around that time but looking at it i know it says that it's a blush but I'm kind of getting more of a highlighter vibe, so that should be really, really fun. I'm gonna try to swatch all four shades. That's one. Wow. I don't even have to rub it like that. There we go. Three. These are so, they're like buttery. <laughs> Look at that, can y'all see that? Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's even showing up on a cloudy day. Now that I see the swatches, I personally would be using this as an eyeshadow palette because they are just so rich. So it would be like really, really pigmented on the cheeks, but I don't know, maybe I have to practice or something like that, but I'd be messing up y'all. So I can definitely see myself using this more as an eyeshadow palette versus like a blush palette. <laughs> All of the colors here, once again, swatched evenly. The third shade down had more fallout than the rest of them. The other ones didn't have any fallout at all. Um, but that's the only one that's more powdery. All right, so Oprah did a great job with this one. The product number three is from a company called Juice Beauty. This is the Phyto Pigments Liquid Lip. Once again, this is a full-size item and it retails for $24. So I'm going to try to not get too happy right now. But I have wanted to try Juice Beauty for the longest time. They finally just put in like an Ulta around here and I go in there and I'm always looking at it, always checking out the display and everything. But because I don't know too much about it, I haven't really like gotten anything until now. Ah! <laughs> so it says here, plant-based phyto pigments combined with cold pressed oils to lay down a vivid lip color and create a shiny finish. For the words liquid lip, I automatically thought it was like a matte liquid lipstick but it's going to be like shiny and I'm definitely down for that. As you can see, I'm rocking some shine today. So the shade I have here is called Blythe, number 15. Um, and it looks kind of like multicolored here. I'm not sure if it should look like this. Um, again, I have not tried any of the Juice Beauty products and I know that this is a natural product so it might have just kind of settled a little bit. It looks like it's supposed to be kind of like a cherry color um, but it's also giving me some sort of pink. So I'm not sure what this is supposed to look like, but I'm going to pop it open and check it out to see if it smells fresh. So it actually doesn't really smell like anything. They did say that there was no synthetic uh, dyes or fragrances and stuff like that. And as I'm twirling the wand, the color is starting to unify. It's actually starting to turn into a mauvey color instead of the two colors that I just mentioned. Um, so I think that this is supposed to be the color of life. <laughs> If I had to guess, I would say that the product kind of separated and settled while it was packaged, especially since it's made with like a lot of natural oils and stuff. So just like with natural hair products, you kind of have to shake before use. But in this case, I guess you got to kind of twirl before use. <laughs> so it has a flatter doe foot applicator. So it should lay like really, really flat against your lips and you should be able to get a really precise line. It looks really, really pretty. This is the perfect fall color for many skin tones. So it's gliding on my hand really smoothly and it definitely does have a nice shine to it. This color is actually reminding me of a couple lippies that I have and I absolutely love and I need to repurchase. And you know I'm having too much fun. I went into my uh, beauty room and got the two colors that I'm thinking of because I couldn't remember the name. Juice Beauty's Blythe kind of reminds me of Cinnamon Stick from BH Cosmetics as well as Maybelline's Untainted Spice Lipstick, which I totally need to rebuy. Y'all see that? I have been going in. The final item in the fall box from Vegan Cuts is from Bella Pierre Cosmetics, and this is an HD makeup primer that retails for $75. $75. All right. <laughs> it says here, treat dryness, fine lines, excess oil, and enlarged pores with this mineral infused formula. This primer provides a one-of-a-kind smooth complexion. I'm totally going to try this primer out. There's only a couple ingredients in it and the primer that I currently use looks really similar to this. Like it has only a couple ingredients. I use one from Lancome, the La Base Pro. I'm learning that my skin really does like simple things. So that is like a great primer for me and this one only has 
one, two, three, four, five, six ingredients. That's it. So let's check out this $75 item. This looks like a high-end skincare item. Like, I would have never guessed that this was a primer. It's packaged so nicely. I'm gonna see if I can smell it. It shouldn't really have too much of a fragrance. I didn't even see fragrance. There is, let's see. There's no fragrance in this, so it should probably smell like nothing. It doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> Product itself is a clear gel-like formula and it is silicone based. On my fingers it's really slippery but it's not shiny or anything and on my hand it just feels like silk. This should provide some moisture as well. I would not really count on this for like a matte finish but kind of just smoothness. And that's exactly how Bella Pierre explained this product. They said it was supposed to kind of smooth the skin. It should be really good for combo to dry skin especially. So I should be able to use this and I'm pumped because it's $75 and stuff. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to be trying that out too. I'm actually going to be trying everything out in this box because it's been spot on and I'm so excited that the quiz actually worked. All of the items were complimentary to my skin tone and they all don't really have fragrances or anything like that. So it should be a breeze to use and a lot of fun So That was the final item in this particular box. They also sent like a little sticker here. That's pretty cute. <laughs> so in case you're interested in checking out a quarterly box for yourself from Vegan Cuts, I have some links in the description box as well as some information. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out today. If so, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you very soon in another one. Take care. Be sure to check out my channel homepage for lots more to watch. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Have a great day.